Fucking already. Let's get the tail of the tape here. 32-year-old Fatih Akhtash against 28-year-old Nermin Haidar Pasic. And let's hand it over to Ricky Wright, our beloved announcer. Live from Vestra, Sweden. Exclusive on YouTube. Fight Club Rush presents three five-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. And in the blue corner with a record of one win and no defeats. Weighing in at 106 kilograms. From Montenegro, now fighting out of Vesteros, Sweden. Nermin Haiderpasic! <laughs> and his opponent in the red corner with a record of five wins and six defeats. Weighing in at 110.6 kilograms. Fighting out of Austria by way of Turkey, Fati Haktash. Your referee in charge of the action, Reben Saber. Reben the light Saber in charge of his heavyweight action, and I do not envy Reben's position right now. These two heavyweights are locked, stocked, and ready to rock. Oh, that touch gloves. Okay, I was not expecting that, actually. No, I would take the under on that. And Akhtash, he's no stranger to being brought to his opponent's hometown. If you watch his fight against Italian heavyweight Matteo Rossetti, that was supposed to be Rossetti's coming out party. I believe it was the main event of that fight. But Akhtash came and spoiled the show. I mean, he took down a huge Italian heavyweight who was favored to win and managed to win via second round TKO. Yeah, Akhtash looking at counter punch here. Yeah, and he's really stalking, really putting the pressure on. And just 28 years old, which in heavyweight years is basically 16. <laughs> I mean, let's not forget Randy Couture won the UFC heavyweight championship at, I think, 44 or 45 years old. Daniel Cormier was defending the heavyweight championship until his, uh, until about 40. There's a nice solid. Two solid leg kicks there from Akhtash. Those definitely, oh, those are getting Haider Pasic's attention. Oh, he switched stance, those <laughs> definitely had him, and you can see some redness already around the knee of Nermin Haidar Pasic. To act as you can see his game plan here, and it's working. Yeah. Oh, goes high, does Akhtash. I mean, he may not have the most impressive build, but he is a very flexible guy. He will, and there's the takedown attempt. Not sure why Faith wants to put this on the ground with that success he was having. Well, I mean, if there's anywhere that he will have a clear cut advantage in terms of MMA, it's got to be the grappling because Haider Pastich has been doing it at most eight months. Yeah, I like this has him tied up here. They just want to slow him down and, and work towards some. Uh, push this fight a little bit uh, later. I do believe that is the case. That's also usually when you start feeling some of those hard punches and kicks. It's when you're, when you're in sort of some of these stalemate kind of positions, your mind starts to wander a little bit and then you start feeling the pain in those legs. Oh, we had it. Well, that's a nice body lock. Yeah. Oh, that was shoulder strike. Yeah. Very nice. I mean, for being this young in his MMA career, I am impressed with his, with his level of grappling defense. Yeah, I like that he's not going for a throw or trying anything too risky here. When Octus is locking his hands, though, he can really finish this. He could go inside one of those legs with his feet. There's lots of ways to finish from here. Haidar Pasic, he is a big, scary heavyweight, but he is also a total jokester. Yesterday at the weigh-ins, he was singing some classic uh, Slavic uh, fo uh, songs so like it was karaoke. Haidar Pasic grabbed the fence. Yeah, Very he did. Very briefly there. Oh, He's going to get a warning. Really quick on that. Resets the position as he should. 
Can't start in the college. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Some gamesmanship there. Fatih, uh, look, there you got the underhook from Haider Pasic. Some solid shots Those to the ear, man. good punches. I mean, he packs so much power, does Haider Pasic. Oh, nice oh. knee there. This is some real damage here. It is. I mean, Ooh. separates briefly. Look at the left leg of Hadjir Pasic. If you can see the red marks on there. Oh, Ooh. yeah. That leg is beaten up. All right, and they separate. Let's see. Final minute of the first round here. There you got one of those kicks. And spinning back kick there from Fatih Akhtash. Oh, some hard Solid shots there. Right here. And there another kick to the midsection from Haider Pasic. I think Atox would go back down to the low leg kicks, especially in this orthodox position. I think that would be a very smart move, but you know, he started to feel the power of Haider Pasic's shot, which will inevitably make you a little bit more hesitant. Also, I think that Haidar Pasic managing to survive those grappling situations. Ooh. Oh, that leg kick hurt. Nurmin is hurt. That leg is really compromised. Oh, yeah, he's limping on it, but he's the one stalking forward. He's like Jason Voorhees. Look at him. Why isn't Actus going back to it? They're going to have to do some work on that leg. Yes, absolutely. It'll be interesting to see how they manage this. And Sabre walks over to the corner to look at it, to talk to him. How often do we see heavyweights do spinning back kicks? Not very often. And mentioned Irman, Irman Smaic before. He is actually one, uh, he was one of Akhtash's previous opponents. He defeated Akhtash by a unanimous decision. And there has been talks of a Haidar Pasic versus Smaic fight if Haidar Pasic comes out victorious from here. But he's got his work cut out for him. And Haidar Pasic, he was predicting a first round KO to he get was. that fight and build the hype. This is going to make it a little harder. He, he's got to be happy to get out of this with a win. Yes, exactly. But. I mean, the face of Akhtar is pretty beat up. And the leg of Haider Pasic pretty beat up, so. Clearing up a little bit of water in the corner of Akhtash. All right, there we go. Second round is upon us. Looking a little bit more light on his feet is Haider Pasin, like the fainting leg kick there from Akhtash. Yeah, Hunter Pasic does not want to leave with that left leg. But here it comes. It's just natural. He wants to throw the big right, so he needs to go orthodox here. Oh, there was a oh wild exchange there. Good punch. Oh, man, look at these shots. Heavyweight they tornado are here. down. And <laughs> look at that, Akhtash egging him on. <laughs> look at these guys. They are definitely earning each other's respect, that is for sure. 
And I think Akhtar Shami, he's taking a page out of one of his former opponent's books in the, because when he fought Zvonimir Kral, oh. he was dropped with vicious leg kicks. And, you know, sometimes you just got to learn from your mistakes. And, and now it is Akhtar for one putting the pressure on. That is a nice high left kick for a big man. That was a, that was a solid kick. I mean, it, it was mostly blocked, but that can still hurt if not if even if the impact doesn't necessarily translate towards the head, it can it can break your arm, especially if it's from a hard hitting heavyweight like Haidar Pasic. Haidar Pasic got his leg just out of the way. There. Yeah, just barely checked it. Now Akta's moving forward. I would like to see, oh, nice Ooh. high kick there, but just shrugged off by Haidar Pasic. <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, Haidar Pasic right. isn't interested. He's not interested in going. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, and now it's. Like this is hurt. Oh, I, I wonder if that was oh. recognized by Haidar Pasic. The his right foot is swollen. Yeah, it is. Uh, it might be, oh, it was a check. It was probably the check that Haidar Pasic pulled off. And now the tide has turned here. Hyder Passage smells blood in the water. Look, that was a desperate takedown oh. attempt. I just want this on oh, the ground. Look at that, some Solid heavy punches. ground and pound. I wonder if we'll see some elbows here as well. Hyder Passage has got to take his time here. And he's cut. He's Actes cut. Actes is cut. Not surprised to see that. And you got to think that if this Haider Passage Smajic fight is going to happen, the Haider Passage will have a little something to say if he gets a finish. He can finish here. He can just up unload on the right hand. If you look at Actes is hooking the uh, left leg of uh, Haider Passage, which yeah. will make it hard to posture up. So it is a smart move and from Actes. two on one on the right hand. I do think Haider Passage should do his best to trick, just get out of his position, stand up. I mean, his opponent's leg is clearly compromised. It looked like Akhtar, Akhtar was complaining about something. Haider Passage basically told him, no, we're talking now. I mean, they've been talking all week. <laughs> yeah. they, they have not stopped, these guys. I mean, Haider Passage can really catapult himself into the heavyweight conversation here in Scandinavia. If he can finish this here, but... It's just some hammer punches. Yeah, I do think he should... Look at that. There it is, oh, there, there it is. Those are some hard shots. I mean, with that heavy power, he could finish the fight there. I do not think Actus is going to stand up. His right foot. Oh, yeah, he's having a oh, hard... It looks so swollen. Oh, oh, look at that! Akhtar fires back! But Haider Pasta just looks so unfazed. And a nice kick to the midsection there. 30 seconds left in the second round. Nice combination there from Nerman Haider Pasta. is rocked. <laughs> and Haider Pasta is tired. Well, this is, I mean, I will just flat out say it. Don't smoke, it is a bad habit, but. Haider Passage does not listen to that. He is actually an avid smoker. He was actually smoking before the weigh-ins yesterday. Oh, nice, nice solid jab there, connects. And Akhtash bloodied up. We're gonna have to see Akhtas in the corner here. I would not be surprised if this fight gets stopped. Yes, same here. Now, we have to see if a doctor goes in the corner, if anyone else is picking up on this. But based on what I'm seeing, there is gonna be a third round here. Yeah, it definitely seems like it. The crew here has her work cut out for them in cleaning up the blood from that corner. Let's take a look at some of the action from round two. That was a nice counter shot from, from Akhtash. How is this making it to the final round? 
<laughs> I did not see this happening. I was quite sure that it was going to end the first round, regardless of who was getting their hand raised. This is amazing, and it's not because they're not trying to go for the kill. Exactly, yeah. I mean, they are. They're just, I mean, they're taking their time, though. They're not getting reckless with it, which you shouldn't in a heavyweight contest. It is so easy to get clipped. And actually, Haidar Passage had to ask for the largest possible gloves yesterday. They had large. He asked for extra large because he said his fist didn't fit inside them. So you're basically getting hit with, like, like a can of soup. <laughs> The Brock Lesnar hands. Yeah. And he has power in them. He's shown that. And he is being a little bit careful with how, you know, he's not just getting reckless with his shots, which is a sign of maturity. I'm sure he's picked that up from his boxing career. And the final touch of gloves here in the final round of this heavyweight contest between. The hometown favorite, Nermin Rocky Haidar Pasic, and the experienced Turk, Fatih Akdash. Oh, that was a nice solid left. Let's see if that just throws any kicks. That may just be over. Look God, that left so fast. Yeah, you don't have to do anything else. They both connected there. But, I mean, it's just like every single shot that the Hyder Passage takes, he just wears it so well. Yeah, that left jab. And I do suspect that the, the injured, to, I mean, I don't think we'll see any more right kicks from Akhtash because of how injured his leg is. There was a nice... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? These fighters may be two sides of the same coin. Hey, you're talking about Hadra Padre smoking. I think these guys are going to go for drinks after this. Oh, thing. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There'll gonna be some up... Rakia involved. They're going to end up best friends after this 15 minutes. Or if, if it does go the distance, but I feel like it will. So far, it's looking like it, but I mean, Akhtash is just bloodied up. And really, a sign of strength from Haidar Pasic, who, I mean, first round wasn't really going his way. He was eating those heavy leg kicks. Oh, that was a nice left hander again. Well, I, I think we're one kick away from this fight being over. And Haidar Pasic is has stayed in it. Both of these fighters had opportunities to just lay down and have the fight end. That was just a hellacious right hand missed there from Norman Haidar Pasic. Yeah, halfway through this last round here. And heading into this bout, Akhtash said there's a loud mouth in this city and I'm the solution to that. So far, that solution isn't really working out. Oh, there we got a leg kick from Akhtash. Akhtash's foot does not look as swollen as it initially did. I wonder if he just caught a knee and uh, didn't break it. Uh, he would not be moving this way if it was broken. There's a kick from Haider Pasic. Oh, wow, look at him. Oh, oh, just dropped, just just right dropped him. him. Oh, Faith, another huge opportunity here. Oh, he takes back. He's get, he wants to sink the hooks in. I do suspect. I don't think that Tyler Passage is the most experienced grappler. Than, I mean, no matter had a chance to flop those back, but I don't think that's natural for him. He's in trouble here. He is. I don't know, act as his ground game, but he smart. Very. He flops those back, but he's not in a good position here. Oh, this is just terrible for Haidar Pasic. He was turning the tide, but then I think he just got too cocky 
with his, and just too confident with his striking. And that is the thing, in heavyweight battle bouts, you can never count out your opponent. It really does not matter. At the end of the day, force and power is force and power. Oh, look at that! Haidar Kosic turns things around. Now he is on top. One, if we will see some fight in the <laughs> ground and pound here. Reversal. Just sit up and push your opponent over. That's that's what we call a heavyweight technique, Brian. <laughs> well, it's very effective. And that could be the fight slipping out of the hands of Fakhti Akhtash. I, I think we need damage here. I think Akhtash has this round up to this point. That's true. He had the big punches. He had back. Uh, I think we need some damage here. Yeah. He just cannot lay on top here. looks tired. This could be a big mistake, a costly mistake. He should posture up, absolutely. Final 10 seconds. I suspect he's just exhausted, though. I mean, I feel exhausted. <laughs> Me too, just watching it. <laughs> All right, and that does it. There was no buzzer for some reason. And they go all three rounds. I wonder who bet on that because not a lot of people could have seen that coming. Great show of respect there. Oh, First, we're gonna, <laughs> this is what MMA is all about, yeah, right here. Absolutely. These guys have been beating each other up for three rounds. Talk trash at weigh-ins, talk trash on media day but they touch gloves to enter the cage and they hug, leaving the cage. Let's take a look at some of the action here. That was that left hand. Yeah, it was. Ooh. And it, it was, yeah, I think it was just Hyder Possibly getting way too comfortable in that position, you know, in the stand-up, not really taking uh, the threats seriously from Akhtash. And his feet just went out from under him there. But again, I mean, hats off for recovery. I mean, this is just his second ever pro MMA fight, and he's been training MMA for less than a year. So I think regardless, I mean, he definitely did make a few mistakes, which can be, you know, allowed if, you know, you're new at something. And to get this much time in the cage, this, this oh. might be, I mean, the lessons and lessons learned if he wants to step up and fight a IMMAF world champion next. Exactly. I put you on the spot. How did you score this fight? <sighs> it's a tough one. I mean, I'd say first round to, to Akda. First round to Akda, he had Second the Second round kicks. to Hyder Pasic. Yes, that was clear. <sighs> but that could have been a 10 year round. Maybe. Also? Yeah. I, uh, I, I do not envy the judge's jobs. For, that is for sure. decision, draw. This will be interesting. Scores are being collected, and we will hand it over to Tricky Ricky Wright for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 29-28 Aptash, 29-28 Haida Pasich, and 29-28 for your winner by split decision. In the blue corner, Nadmin Pasich. Nami. Uh, just you. Keep me shutting this game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Nami Haidar Pasich. I mean, that was a war. First, he hit you with some heavy leg kicks. You could tell that they hurt you, but then you came back strong in the second. How are you feeling after this battle of heavyweights? I feel bad because my leg is fucked up from first row. But was it hard getting back into the fight after that? Uh, what, he punched me after two minutes. I must fight with Tristan minutes left. But I find something in my body. Left energy. <laughs> I don't know. He's very strong. He surprised me. Yeah, and he surprised me in the third round. He dropped you with some heavy shots. What was going through your mind when you went down? I, I didn't know from punch. I hit me very strong here. And I already know when he's first he kicked me. 
And after that, I going down. And punch was too, but not strong. I fell very fast and grew. But big respect to him. I hope we see another time. Maybe pun party. <laughs> and it was a split decision. It was a very close fight. What do you think was the deciding factor that gave you the win in the end? I think my job. I jumped beyond. I up. I up, but they don't know much. They were better. Now, there has been a lot of talk between you and Swedish amateur champion Irman Smajic. I do believe he is here in the building as well. Bring that fucking monkey. Bring that fucking monkey inside. All right, we've got him right over here. All right, let's keep it civil, guys. Irman, what did you think of this fight? I love it. Where's the, where's the fucking contract? Zlatko! Bring the monkey contract. Ee <laughs> Just hear ee All right, I think this is a heavyweight fight. We've got to see Irman Smajic and Nermin Haidar Pasic. Always professional. Always professional. Number one. Alright, what can the fans expect from your guys' fight? Can you say something about monkeys, Duncan? Can you do like this? <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's gonna be a fun fight. I think he's gonna have it. He's gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it. One of us is gonna win. And he's gonna be in pain, I promise you. Yeah. When you knock somebody, last time when you knock somebody was in the school when you knock girl out. <laughs> Fucking bitch. You will see, you will see who are gonna knock out next time. In here. All right, I, get, I think Fight Club Rush 10 may have its first fight lockdown. I will not touch him, I swear. I swear I'm not touching. Let's take, Let's take a photo. Let's have a nice photo. Let's have a, where do you want it? Huh? Let's have a nice photo. Love is in there. Love is in there. Yes, I would like God to win Turkey. He takes a Turkish flag two meters like this to hope another guy wins. But see you on two months. Okay. See you. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your winner, Nermin Haider Pasic, and his future opponent, Irman Smajic. They will meet in the cage.